Get your phone. I want you to film this. Now, please. We don't want Layla to miss all the fun. Chop, chop, Charles. On me. <sighs> I put it to you that the only reason we didn't have sex is because you were drunk. Even if you were the last woman on the planet, I'd sooner die. Your new husband was all over me. But you know what I found sad? The fact that he couldn't talk to you, and yet he could always talk to me. He poured his heart out to me. How he regretted marrying you. That's a lie. Do you deny throwing your new wife out of the house? That was a misunderstanding. As well you know, I was grieving, I didn't know what I was saying. Ladies and gentlemen, this man resented his wife so much, he wished it was her who died instead of Liana. That is not true. Maybe you don't recall telling me that, just like you didn't recall if we'd slept together or not. I would never say that. Or maybe you were grieving and didn't know what you were saying. Your marriage is doomed. And as for closure, well... Good luck with that. You'll be tortured by what I did to Liana for the rest of your sad, depressing life. So you actually admit doing it? No point in carrying on the charade now, is there? I plan to take full credit. Oi! I know what you really want. You want to know exactly what happened to her. What she went through right at the end. You can't bear the idea of knowing, but what you can't live with is the not knowing. Am I right? Liana was a spoilt attention seeker. She thought she was untouchable, that she'd always lead this charmed life where everything came easily and she could have whatever she wanted. What did you do to her? I showed her life wasn't a fairy tale and there was no handsome prince coming to rescue her. I lifted her up onto the ledge of the bridge if you could have seen the terrified look in her eyes when she realized who I really was and what I was capable of. It was exquisite. Suddenly, being young, blonde and privileged had zero currency. I had all the power then. Life and death. She begged me to spare her. Told me she wouldn't tell if I just let her go. <laughs> but over the side she went. Was it instant? Did she suffer? I thought she was dead. She looked so peaceful. Like sleeping beauty, not a mark on her. But then she moved her head annoyingly and her eyes fluttered. She was waiting for some prince to kiss her, I imagine. She was tachycardic, and yeah, I thought about calling an ambulance, but I knew it was too late. So why bother them? And then, I prized that ring from her cold, dead fingers. <laughs> <laughs>